Okay, so I've been so lucky to uh, meet some uh, really inspiring students who just left stage from the Birds Communication School of Communication yeah. uh, and um, loved your idea. And, and I want to know a little bit about how you guys think this industry is going to move forward. Because we heard a lot of things from old guys with expensive suits talking about the future. And the future is really you guys. So can you share just a little bit of your thoughts of what's important in terms of doing marketing and brand building in in 2014 and going forth? A very big open question, but just your thoughts. Nothing, nothing wrong answers, just your thoughts. You can start with you. Yeah, we, I think that we have been... Uh, we've been talking a lot about building things for users with the users so that they get to be a part of your like building fans in a new way like just letting them really uh, really uh, help you out and tell uh, tell you what they want sort of to to be able to really engage with them uh, because if you don't do that moving forward I think it's going to be try uh, hard to yeah be hard to be competitive because it's it's all about who's going to be with you on your journey and if you don't do stuff with your consumers then it's going to be a, a problem yeah i agree um <laughs> do you think that I, i agree adding value through the customer building relationships over time but wouldn't it be really hard when everyone starts to do this wouldn't it be a really crowded space how can we determine who, who wins and who doesn't i think actually if, even though it might get crowded as you say in the long run everyone wins because like brands today can't get away with just screaming look at us they have to do something that really sort of helps uh, the user or their sort of target audience out and When, when more and more companies start doing that, it also um, leads to um, innovation. So yeah. I think it's, it's a win-win situation. Basically. I, I agree. But so, so you're about to graduate in a year or two or something. Um, this, this May. Uh, this, this May, June, actually. Yeah. Cool. Uh, <laughs> awesome. Uh, um, would you say that schools in general, that... that teaches the next generation of marketers uh, are aware of this and are le helping you to kind of develop the, the right mindset in terms of when you gonna start working they are try they, I think that they are trying really hard yeah. to be, um, to just like get people to understand how important it is with like the digital world that is fastly growing Uh, and that maybe the schools are there and they have programs to help you out, like interactive communication, that's the program we're going to, uh, has that. But but many other people have no clue that this is like the revolution of internet and everything is happening. And it's really crazy for us who's really in the digital world. But many, many people are, are still like very like far behind. And as, as we saw yesterday when people were sitting here and they were asking about, so how many of you have a mobile uh, responsive web website, like mobile first? And none said that they had sort of like 10% maybe. So it's, it's not good out there. So they need people like us who kind of understand <laughs> the digital world a little bit better. Yeah. And I yeah. think also you younger you are, it will be more like, yes, of course, this is our world. This is how it works. It's more obvious for us. But maybe it's that the older people and the older generation needs to like, look at us and to make new ideas and innovations for the future. And, and, and do we think that um, the old suits, the old marketers are good enough to actually take inspiration and, and collaborate with, with young minds? Or do they need to kind of realize that they're getting old in their own game I think they have the I think most of them are they're definitely good enough it's just I think it's just about like realizing that this has happened and see the opportunity in that like we were saying on stage that we think that the technology today is so advanced and just keeps getting better and better and you have the very big opportunity to actually solve problems and make a difference for people and i think that like all 
all people in the communication business should just like embrace that and just see see that this is the new world and what can we do with it I agree yeah I think the marketing business was just be closer to the service design business because then they will make this kind of solution for the user yeah I, I agree I would say that uh, in general brands are not as good at looking at the audience's needs and the data they give they're more but in a guessing game I guess uh, do you use a lot of of data and insights when you create your creative ideas and, and your products we're yeah. actually trying yeah. to we're actually trying to, to solve the, the problem we're trying to, to, to find a problem that we can solve with the ideas and the and the concept that we are uh, come up coming up with so I think it's um, mostly about finding a problem and try try to solve it I agree. So last question. What would you say is the number one challenge for an uh, old school marketer in this new digital age? Um, I think um, as long as you're curious, you stay curious throughout your whole sort of working career, you, I think you, you have the potential to be fine. Curious and creative. Yeah, totally agree. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, yeah, follow all this on, on Twitter or on the social media things. I'm going to put the links under below and give them a job, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks.